In this video, we are going to learn regarding VLOOKUP, one of the most important formulas in Excel. So, let's talk about the case study. We have a small data set in which we have a couple of columns. We have the ID column, we have the first name, the last name and the salary. The problem statement is that given the ID of the employee, we need to find the last name. Now, let's look at the VLOOKUP formula. Number one, let's break the formula. V stands for the word vertical. The meaning of the word lookup is to find something. When you take both these words together, VLOOKUP, that means vertically, you want to find something. Now, that is just the definition. Another definition says that VLOOKUP formula is searches for a value in the first column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. Now, let me switch back into Excel. So, let us take an example. I write the employee code 79. Now, what is the question? The question is that given this employee code, I want to fetch the last name from this specific table. Right now, can I call this data into a table? The answer is no. Why? Because over here on the top, we do not see the table design tab. We have already discussed in the previous video that if this would have been a table, you would have seen the table design tab appearing on the top right. So anyways, we can call this a range. For you to have an upper hand in the formula of VLOOKUP, you need to understand each and every argument of the formula. Let me explain. I simply write equal to V and L. Why am I writing the formula here? Because I want the answer to appear in this specific cell. Hence, I am writing the formula in this cell. Now. Let's see what the explanation says. And this is exactly what we read in the presentation. It looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. There's a small correction. It need not be a table. It could be a table or it could be also a range. We have spoken about this, that either your data is a table or it is a range. And then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. However, for people who are already writing a VLOOKUP, I would like you to focus on this statement, which clearly mentions that by default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. When was the last time that you sorted the data and then went ahead and wrote a VLOOKUP formula? Anyways, we will talk about that in detail. So, to get started, VLOOKUP is the formula. And within the formula, what do you see? These are my arguments. We have to understand each and every argument of the VLOOKUP formula so that we understand how the formula works so that we can ahead, we can go and we can take more complex ex examples. But we have to be very clear with the understanding of each and every argument. So let's start writing the formula is equal to VL VLOOKUP. I hit the tab button on the keyboard. Once I hit the tab button on the keyboard, currently the argument where I am standing is reflected by the bold text, which means currently I am standing under the argument called lookup value. However, if I simply put a comma, now I am transferred to the second argument even though I haven't mentioned anything under the first argument, which means under and unless we do not close the bracket and press enter, Excel will not understand that have we completed the arguments or have we not completed the arguments. Obviously, if we have not completed the arguments, you would get an error. Now, so the first argument is lookup value. The meaning of the word lookup value is what single value do you want to search? Now, when I say what do we want to search, 
there's a very high probability you may jump and say that we want to search the last name. No. The meaning of the word lookup value is what single value do you want to search vertically? So, with respect to this argument, I want to search this particular number, which is the cell M6. And where do I want to search it? I want to search this in the left table. So, the first argument is lookup value. Lookup value means what single value do you want to search vertically? Remember, when we speak about VLOOKUP, you are searching in two directions. You are searching for a value vertically. And if you find that, then you are searching for a value horizontally. But first, the movement happens vertical. Then the movement happens horizontal. The horizontal movement will only happen if the vertical value is found. Now, so the meaning of the word lookup value is what single value do you want to search vertically? So I want to search the number 79, comma. The second argument is table array. The meaning of the word, the meaning of the word table array is where do you want to search? So if I simply select this data, According to the rule of the game, Excel will always search in the leftmost column of my selection. What will it search? The number 79. Where will it search? In the leftmost column of my selection. Now, what is the leftmost column of my selection? The leftmost column of my selection is the first name column, which means that Excel will look for the number 79 in the leftmost column of my selection. The question is not, will Excel find it or will it Excel not find it? That's not the question. The question is, where will Excel search? Once again, if I simply go and select this data, this time Excel will search the number 79 in the leftmost column of my selection, which is the last name column. Once again, if I come and I select this data, now Excel will search the number 79 in the leftmost column, which actually right now is a blank column. Finally, I select the entire data. That's my table array, which means Excel will search for this value 79 in the leftmost column of my selection. Now, a very important key point. Currently, we are in the argument of table array. Whenever you see the word array in the argument, A R R A Y, you will always make it absolute reference. Remember, when we say absolute reference, we have a dollar for the column name and a dollar for the row number, comma. The third argument is column index number. Column index number is how far do we want to go horizontally? Now, we need to give the number. So you cannot tell me F. F is the column name. F is not the column number. F is the column name. So, can the number be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Because sixth column is my last name. The answer is no. The answer is, it's the third column. Because the counting starts from the leftmost column of my selection. If the first name was the leftmost column, then the, then the counting would have been, this would have been come one, this would have become two. Obviously, the VLOOKUP would have given you an error because you are looking for the number 79 in the leftmost column. But just to give you a context, what column index number means, this is the reason we have taken this example. However, I will move my selection once again. And the column number becomes column number three. Column one is ID. Column two is the first name. Column three is the last name. Now, the last argument is the range lookup. Many of us, we write zero or we simply write the word false or we do not write anything. Now, the question is if there is a zero, there is also a one. If there is a false, there is also a true. If you don't write anything, why do you leave it blank? I repeat, 
why do you leave it blank we will talk about this much more in detail but when we come to the last argument which is which is range lookup range lookup is with respect to the q1 the question number 1 which is the lookup value so whenever you are at range lookup you have to look at the lookup value what is my lookup value m6 and what is m6 the number 79 is the number 79 is it an exact value or is it an approximation now you have to look at your table array and with respect to your table array you need to have a context for example are you looking for a decimal number or are you looking for exactly the number 79 can the number 79 appear as 78.73 the answer is no we are exactly looking at the number 79 hence we will take the example of false in the ahead videos we have a detailed explanation when will i use true there you go the moment i hit the enter button i get the answer once again i write the number 30 i press enter look excel search such as vertically for the number 30 where will excel search vertically in the leftmost column of my selection so just to make it a little more interactive let me simply take a vertical arrow let's say i will increase the weight copy and paste and that's the horizontal arrow the vertical arrow will start from the leftmost column of my selection so if my leftmost column of my selection is from the id column that means it will search in the id column if this is my selection then this arrow moves over here so since this is my selection i have placed my blue arrow in the leftmost column now only if excel finds the number 30 in the leftmost column of my selection will the green arrow start moving so for example if i write the number 130 enter i get an error which means the green arrow will not move but suppose but suppose i write the number 53 and enter this time the blue arrow stops at the number 53 and the green arrow takes over and returns the second column in that specific row which means if i simply come here and i make it 4 it will return the salary however if i simply come here and write the number 10 i'm going to get an error why because i have selected four columns that means you will never be able to reach the 10th column and if i simply write the number 1 that means it will search for the number 53 and return the number 53 now now let's go a little more into the theory of this formula 